Happy Pride! Are you wondering which is the most LGBTQIA plus friendly city in the world to visit and live in? So about a week ago, Lonely Planet posted this listicle about the 15 most gay friendly places on the planet, but one city was clearly missing. Planet. In this video, you're gonna find out why Amsterdam definitely should be on that list. Whether it's at the top or bottom. Hello boys and girls and everyone in between. This is Rachel and Alexandra from Who is Amsterdam, Amsterdam Tours? Tours? We've been guiding thousands of travelers in Amsterdam since 2018. But you know what? We came to Amsterdam from Poland and Singapore to be our authentic queer selves. So we want to share with you five reasons why Amsterdam is gay AF. But first, a little light history. In 1811, Holland was invaded by Napoleon who installed the Napoleonic Code. As a result, homosexuality was decriminalized and since then, this tiny nation has made huge waves in LGBTQ plus rights. Since 1970, parents could state sex cannot be determined on the child's birth certificate. In 2020, an X for gender neutral was added to Dutch passports. By 2025, all Dutch IDs will be gender free. Yes, Queen! In 1974, the Netherlands was the first country to ban discrimination against gays in the military. Since 1985, transgender people can legally change their gender when undergoing surgery and hormone therapy. A new law in 2014 determined that they can do that without any procedures. And since 1994, anti-discrimination laws were established that banned discrimination on the ground of sexual orientation. So we want to say merci to the French for making it possible in the first place. But Amsterdam is the city which caused a domino you better don't effect on the rest of the country. So let's look at the five reasons why Amsterdam is one of the most gay-friendly cities in the world. Reason number one, the first gay marriage in the world. Yes, the world's first same-sex couples to get married exchanged the vows at Amsterdam City Hall. Though Denmark was the first country in the world to legalize same-sex union in 1989, the Netherlands was the first country to say yes to same-sex marriage in 2001. After the stroke of midnight on April 1st, then-Mayor Joop Cohen married four same-sex couples in Amsterdam. Since then, 30 countries have followed in the Netherlands' footsteps. And how did the first happy couple celebrate? With pink champagne and cheers! cupcakes, of course. So cheers to Amsterdam for being so progressive and let the world say, Gay Man! Reason number two, the world's oldest homo monument. During World War II, around 50,000 to 63,000 gays, bisexual men and trans women were forced to wear an inverted pink triangle as a badge of shame. And most of them were sent to concentration camps and killed. In 1979, Amsterdam-born artist Karen Dan took the symbol of shame and turned it into something powerful. In 1987, Karen's work, the world's first homo monument, was unveiled. It's a large triangle framed by three pink triangles to remember not just the victims of World War II, but every LGBTQ person who's ever been persecuted. And there's a special meaning behind the three points of the triangle. So the first one points to the Anne Frank House, which represents the past. The second one points to the Dam Square, where our war memorial is placed. And back then, when the Homo Monument was built, it actually represented the present. And the third point, surprise, it points of course to the future. The COC, the first organization in Amsterdam, which stood for the Homo Movement. Next to the Homo Monument, it's also the Pink Point, where you can get the lowdown about LGBTQ happenings and info in Amsterdam, as well as some naughty and nice souvenirs. Number three, the world's oldest LGBTQ organization. In 1946, a cock was born. That's COC, without the K, or krrr. COC, or COC in Dutch, is the world's oldest LGBTQ organization. And we're not just talking about the H, Kenny. It was founded in Amsterdam by a group of gay Amsterdamers to give gays and lesbians some culture and recreation and to fight for LGBTQ rights. 
and boy, they sure did turn it out. COC supports LGBTQ organizations all over the world by helping them to start AIDS prevention programs, organize pride events, and fight for better laws, etc. Well done, COC, and thank you for making the world a truly better place. Number four, the world's first drag Olympics. Every first Friday of August, Amsterdam gathers to witness the cream of the crop drag queens compete in the world's first drag Olympics. Wigs and heels on, tits out. Drag queens from all across the nation train long and hard to compete with each other in rigorous sports such as the handbag throw, 100 meter stiletto sprint, and the tug of war. So guys, you don't have to wait four years to catch some Olympian action. Just come to Amsterdam and wig out with us. Number five, first capital city with the canal parade. So maybe you've seen pictures of this. Or this. Here in Amsterdam, we don't walk, we float. Every first Saturday of August, Amsterdam's Pride Parade takes to the canals and busts into a colorful celebration. About a million people gather around the Prince Canal each year to be a part of this amazing event. Drag queens, leather boys, even the police. Every year, 80 boats with its own DJs and dance moves party with the people to celebrate our right to love who we love and to be who we are. Every last weekend of July, there's also the Milkshake Festival, which is an amazing festival that takes place at Vesta Park in Amsterdam West. It's a multi-genre music festival which celebrates all kinds of gender, sexual orientation, color and size. It's one of our favorite festivals here in Amsterdam and it happens every year on the last weekend of July. Do not miss it and tickets sell out early. So have you been to one of these events before? Tell us about your experience in the comments below. And guess what? We're actually a couple! So to hear more about our coming out stories and why we came to Amsterdam in the first place, watch the video below and experience why the city means so much to us. We're Alexandra and Rachel from Who Is Amsterdam Tours and we can't wait to see you in our next video. Doi! Doi! Three, two, one. One. Are you wondering which is the most LGBTQIA plus sit friend? <laughs> 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 <laughs>